and welcome back to the channel in this episode i'm gonna be starting a new series on building a podcast website this is unrelated to the other series i have going on which is building a blog app for beginners in this series i'm going to also be i'm also going to explain it well for so beginners can learn so if you're a beginner feel free to stay and build this app with me yeah, I'm just going to be building this podcast. Basically, there's going to be listeners. There's going to be also admin users. The admins are going to be the ones who could post new episodes of the podcast and moderate things like comments, which I'll add. Yeah, it's going to be a really fun app to work on. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is make this podcast... I'm going to set the database as PostgreSQL. I'm also going to set the CSS with Tailwind. That's the library I'm going to use for this episode in this series. And other than that, nothing really. We're just going to run the bundle. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to run the Rails new. Run that command. It's going to do all the stuff like it bundled and set up the app so now we can go into that podcast i'm going to start the server with bin slash dev go to localhost see we have to create the database okay that's fine and now we can see we have the rails logo on localhost so that's a good thing so now we just need to set a root for this app uh for this i'm gonna create a home page so I'm gonna do Rails G controller pages and I'm gonna do a home action. Now that we do that I'm gonna start the server but I'm gonna also go over to VS Code and, and open up our podcast app. Inside of here we can go over to config routes.rb and let's change this get pages to root pages and change the slash to a hashtag and we can refresh the page and we'll see that we have our home page showing up here we can go change that by going to the app views pages home and we'll change that to my podcast and then we can add a little description this podcast we are going to be discussing Ruby on Rails and web development so yeah this is nice we have our thing we also have the styling from Tailwind you can see we have some padding and this header is being styled like this so that's great uh, the next thing I'm going to do is probably add the admin users so I can start working on adding the the page to create new podcasts and set up the episodes and all that so the first step i'm going to do is adding admin users what i'm going to do for that is use the device gem so we can go into our terminal and run bundle add device that's going to add the gem for device which is going to give our us our user authentication after that we can run rails g device install so that ran, it did its thing. Now there's a few things that it says that you need. You need to set up the mailer. Uh, we're not setting up mailers right now, but we can do this later. Also set the root. That's what we just did though. We have our own homepage. Also uh, add some notifications. So you know, I'm gonna add those now. So what they're saying is add those into here in the layout so that they get displayed on every page. What I'm going to do is render a partial. So we have to set layout slash alerts. And that's where we'll put these alerts. So we can create an alerts partial and paste our code here, which is going to do the notice and the alert. Uh, let's see. And the other thing I said is we can generate the views that we're going to have. Oh, uh, sure. We can do that. Now I'm going to create the model that we're going to use. So to do this, you say Rails G device, and you can say user, which we're going to do for the listeners. But for right now, I'm just going to say admin user. 
we'll get that model and cool now we have admin users so I think we also should migrate the database to get those users saved now I'm gonna start the server again and we'll see we have this home page uh, I don't think I'm really gonna display any buttons for an admin user to sign in because for them to sign in uh, you could just have a row but you know what, I'm actually I'll just add a button for this video so we can go to the home page and underneath this link we can say sign in as admin user or we can just say sign in as admin and the link that we're going to have is new admin user session path go check if that's right yep sign in as admin i'm going to add a bit of styling i'm just going to make this phone do a purple background do a light purple text add some padding also add some margin to separate it from this uh, body up here okay so the margin didn't work for some reason link to margin doesn't work with talent but anyways we can do a break that's another th way that you can add some space between some elements so now we have a sign as admin user this is great there's uh so what's gonna happen is there's for our admin user, right here we have a login page. It doesn't look the best. We can style that with the by generating the views. Uh, we can do that probably in another episode. But for right now, what I want to do for admin users is make sure that you can't sign up. See, there's a sign up button. We don't want anybody to be able to sign up as an admin user. We only want to have the login page. So to do that, we can go to admin user, the RB, and there's this, now we have all these device, we have this device thing with the different keys, and each one of these is different features that you're enabling. So we have database authenticatable. This is the most basic thing that you can say you can, you can log in, okay? Registerable means that you can sign up. If we take this away, and then now you can't sign up when we go here. And that's just what we want. We don't want you to be able to sign up. Uh, forgot your password, that's fine, we can leave that. So what this will mean is anybody who comes here, they won't be able to log in unless they have the username and email. So us as developer, we could go set up this website, create the account for the member, and then after they have that account created, they'll be good. And if they ever forget their password, they can get a new one sent to them. So anyways, let's do that now. Let's go into the console and we're going to create ourselves an admin user. What we're going to need is an email. We're going to do my email. And also do a really safe password. We're just going to do 123, 123 that user as you can see it was created now we're going to be able to go and sign up sign in as the user one two three one two three login boom and there we go we're signed in so now that we're signed in i don't think we should have that link anymore so to remove that we could just say if say unless admin user current admin user so now we remove that link because we already are signed in as admin user so that's great 